What's up you guys? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. San man kayo lupalok ng mundo? Hello, 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 hello. My name is Anna O and welcome back to my channel. In past video about K1 visa, sabi ko uh, I'll be doing a video then regarding sa SLEG US Embassy interview and the CFO. So I have to do that one by one. Okay, so for today, ang topic natin is about SLEG or sa St. Luke's Medical. Okay? SLEG po ay a St. Luke's Extension Clinic. Hindi siya yung St. Luke's dun sa iba't ibang hospital sa atin sa Pinas. Okay? Ito pong St. Luke's na to is nasa Ermita, Manila. So, ito lang yung clinic wherein ginagather dito yung or dito ginagawa yung mga medical uh, medical requirements for the US visa applicants. Like, papunta ng Australia, papunta ng Japan, and the US. Okay? Dun ginagather. So, iisa lang po to sa Ermita lang. Okay? So, if you need other infos about that, I'm gonna, uh, you have to click the description box. Uh, dun po nakalagay yung address and all that and then the website. So, everything you need is in the description box. So, and for further ado, let's get started. SLEC experience. Okay, um, SLEC experience, first thing you have to do is collect all your documents. Okay, collect all your documents. Number one, number one po is yung passport nyo. Passport nyo and then photocopy of your passport, yung biographic page. Okay, you have to uh, make uh, copies of that, extra copies of that. Okay po, yun. So, um, passport and then photocopy of it. And then, four pieces of 2 by 2 or the US visa size photos nyo. Yun. And then, what else? Uh, and then, you have to... Uh, you have to bring the copy of your NVC letter. Pag wala po kayo nun or something, um, ask your fiancé to just um, scan it and email it to you, then you can print it out. Pwede po yun. So, print nyo yun, make extra copies again. Like yung sinasabi, make extra copies kasi... Um, you'll never know kung kailan nyo ulit siya kakailanganin. Kasi uh, ako, andito na ako sa US, pero um, after nung lahat ng, na, lahat ng process ko sa Philippines, kinailangan ko pa rin lahat ng documents na yun, like the NDC, everything. Okay? So, you have to make an extra copy of all documents na sinasubmit nyo. Okay? Ayun. So, yun na nga. Uh, NDC letter, you have to have that. You have to bring that. And then, kaya kailangan mo din ng NBC letter to make a U.S. Embassy appointment, okay? Or interview. Kailangan nyo mag-set ng online interview. Yun yung sinasabi sa K-1 visa sa previous video ko. Um, yung appointment letter nyo, yun, kailangan nyo ng copy nun or photocopy. Uh, you have to bring it or the photocopy at least para, yun. So, you have you have those, ano na. Um, and then, after nun... Um, pwede ka na mag-register online at SLEC. Actually, anytime you can register na sa slec.com.ph Okay, I'm gonna put the link down below sa description box para mas malinaw kasi alam ko may pagkabulol ako and all that. So, you have to check please the description box. Ayun. So, register online and then print it out kasi dadalhin mo din yun. Okay po? And then, of course, yung payment mo, you have to bring that in secure kasi it's it's Hindi ko naman sinasabi na delikado sa lugar and all that. Madami naman tao. Pero yun na nga eh. Dahil sa madaming tao, you'll never know kung sino yung makakasalamuha mo. So, you have to secure the money. Kasi you're gonna have to pay cash inside the clinic. Okay? You're gonna have to pay cash inside. So, o kung ayaw nyo naman magdala ng cash or something, um, ang alam ko, merong BDO, walking distance, kung masipag kayong maglakad sa pinakakanto, BDO, ayun, you can... Uh, withdraw your money there. Pero make sure na may kasama pa rin. And, okay. So, ganito yun ha. Kung ikaw ay 18 na Bob, hindi ka na pwede magsama ng kasama sa loob na unless ikaw ay may disability or something. Yun. Yun lang yung pwede may kasama. Yung mga senior o kaya yung mga minor. Lang, yun lang yun or may disability ka. So, yun lang yung papayagan na may kasama ka. Pero, kung ikaw ay nasa 18 na at nasa ano ka namang ano is hindi ka na pwede magsama sa loob. So, Kung mag-withdraw ka, um, just be alert lang siguro, or, alam mo yun, kasi syempre madaling araw eh, so, or umaga, maaga pa, medyo ano pa, and so you have to secure, or bring your money na lang, you have to secure it there, yun, or kung magsama ka naman ng kasama, pwede naman, kasi hindi nga lang siya makakapasok sa loob, so, yung kasama mo is mag stay sa labas, and may, alam ko, parang may kainan or something naman sa labas, 
So, they can stay there kung di naman mainipin yung kasama mo. Ayun. And then, after that, ayun nga, yung uh, you have to bring a black pen, not gel pen. Black pen, kasi kailangan mo yun. I don't know kung nagamit ko or something, pero yes, ata, kasi you have to sign some documents na kailangan nila doon, or you have to fill up something. Yung mga ganun. So, you have to have your block pen. You have to have your own pen, not gel pen po. Block pen. Ayan. And then, I suggest bring a folder or a plastic folder kasi it's in the Philippines. Hindi mo alam kung kailan ang ulan, hindi mo alam kung ano mangyayari and all that. And just to secure your documents, plus you have your passport with you, so mas maganda nang nakasecure lahat ng documents mo. So, I suggest bring a plastic plastic folder for to secure all your documents, okay? So, let's do that again before we went to the process. Again, all you have to bring, what to bring, um, Ayan, um, your NVC letter, copy of your NVC letter, your schedule appointment letter from U.S. Embassy, and then, uh, yung, regis ayan, yung registration, le uh, registration nyo online sa SLEC, ayan, yeah, because you have to bring that then, and then a four pieces of 2x2 two two or U.S. pizza size photos, and then your money. So, basically, that's it. Yung dadalhin nyo. So, you have to secure that. And so, kung hindi nyo na-catch up yung sinabi ko at medyo pulo ko, again, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna put everything dito po sa description box. So, you have to click that. Okay? And then, so I got there uh, before 5 a.m. Um, ang sabi ng iba, you have to be there like around like th ay, like around 3 a.m. or 4 kasi line starts so early nga daw and all that and mahaba na yung pila. <laughs> Pero, I don't know, I, I guess it depends on the experience kasi <coughs> when I got there, it's almost 5 a.m. and then it was Tuesday. Yes, and then yun, um, since I have all my documents with me naman na, um, pumunta na ako sa pila and then uh, mga exact ng 5 or 5.05, nag-start na yung line, pinapapasok na ng guard. So, yung mga sinusundan ko, yung line ko was like what? I'm... 8 to 7 and then habang papalapit na hati pa kasi um hinahati nila yung line para din sa mga sputum test or dun sa pangababalik na lang for results so mahati pa yung line so yun, yun nga um ayun so f at 5 a.m. Uh, guard will start the line up they'll check your documents make sure it's all correct uh, before they let you in yun yun nga yung ginagawa nila kasi yun check nila and all that din sin separate nila yung kailangan lang kailangan lang nila para nakaredy na kasi inside uh, then they'll teach you to line up again ayun, at the US counter. So, iba yung counter mo ulit. Kasi nga sabi ko again um, doon kinigather kasi lahat ng uh, visa applicant like pa Canada, pa Australia pa Japan. So, yun. Since US tayo, ayun um, pinapila tayo sa US counter. Again, to check the documents ang alam ko kinuha yung passport and then may Ayan, kinuha yung passport. And then, although mayroon na tayong sinabmit na four pieces of 2x2 two two or USB sa size photos, kinuhanan pa ako ng picture na eh. Oya, oh, yeah. kinuhanan ako ng picture and I think yung babae asked me two questions about sa name lang ng fiancé ko and then sa state. Yun, yun sa pagkakatanda ko yung tinanong lang niya sa akin. So, parang practice mo na din para sa US Embassy interview. I mean, yung basic questions is na mas na na retain sa utak mo kasi nga sa bawat process people will ask it over and over so yun um so after noon after dun sa US counter sa baba um bibigyan binigyan niya ako ng uh, it's it's a paper uh, or they call it a uh, PDS or it's the uh, patient data sheet yun may number din doon and then after that Ayon, ang sabi nila sa akin, please proceed to fourth floor, yeah. So fourth floor at ayon sa cashier. Ayon, then after that, they'll tell you where to go. Um, yes. Uh, pagdating mo sa cashier, mahaba na rin yung pila. Pagdating ko doon, may pila na din eh. So mabilis naman in fairness, kasi, kasi dalawa naman yung tao din sa cashier, so mabilis yung process. Ayan. After noon, um, may may step-by-step -step sila online. Alam, uh, may step-by-step -step sila online. Pero pag nandun ka na, hindi na masusunod yun kasi it depends kasi sa dami ng tao. Like, kunwari, ang step one nila is for for laboratory. If crowded na sa laboratory, kuunahin nila dun sa ibang floor or sa ibang steps na, na mas kukunti yung tao. So, sa experience ko, Ayan, pagkagaling sa cashier, ang sabi sa akin ng cashier, 
sabi niya, uh, uh, they asked me to go to the second floor for my immunization interview. So, yung nauna sa akin is immunization interview. Ayun, um, yung doctor tinanong lang ako if I have a medical history, or surgery, or something, o yung mga vaccines ko, kung ano yung vaccines na meron na ako, ganyan-ganyan. Yun lang. Um, or, be prepared din kasi may mga sa tingin niyo personal questions na to or info na hindi na dapat. Uh, be prepared kasi kung sensitive kayo sa ganun, they're gonna ask when was the last time na nagkaroon ka ng intercourse and all that. You know, they have to ask that for medical purposes, okay? It's not to uh, it's not to discriminate or it's not to judge you and all that. They just have to know those infos. To, yeah, you have to be prepared. Yun. They just have to know those infos for medical purposes. Po. Ayun. So, they're gonna, ask, they're gonna ask when was the last time you had an intercourse and all that. Ayun, what was your vaccine? Ano yung naging sakit mo before? And all that. Lahat ng medical history mo, they're, they're gonna ask for it. Okay? Um... Next, um, after that, I went to the, I went to the fourth floor again for laboratory, okay. Uh, for laboratory wherein I had my blood extraction in a urine test, okay. So, takot na takot ako dun, but, come on, saglitan lang naman yun eh. So, they had, they had, uh, they had my blood extraction and then, kinuha na ako ng, ayun, uh, I suggest magdala kayo ng, or actually, may water fountain naman dun, so you can drink up kasi dun ako minom. And I suggest, kapag pupunta kayo sa morning, uh, mas maganda na ayunom kayo ng water, pero pagiting dun, it's easier. Like, kunwari, kahit papuntahin ka sa sa area na to, pwede na kayong, kung naiihi na kayo, dun kayo umihi sa loob. Um, dun sa mismong fourth floor, kung saan ginagather yung, yung laboratory para at least, um, hindi na kayo mahirapan. Kasi yung sa akin, kasi, ano tapos lahat ng, ng medical test ko, kaso natagalan ako sa urine test kasi um, bago ako pumunta, umihi ako. So, ayun, natagalan. So, I have to drink up ng madaming-madaming water from there bago ako na, ano, bago ako nakapag uh, produce ng kailangan nilang urine sample. Ayun. So, sa blood extraction, then urine. Ayun, after nun, I went to, they asked me to go to the third floor. Third floor for chest x-ray naman. So, Ayon, then they asked me after the chest X-ray. Um, don't be surprised because you're gonna have to take off your uh, tap, yung tap nyo kailangan yung tanggalin yon. Pero may lab gowns naman don, so you're gonna have to wear that. Ayon, chakapuro naman kay babae don. Naalala ko na ko kulitan pa kami, like we're five or four don sa loob ng waiting area. Tapos isa lang yung ano, tapos masikip. Eh, sunod-sunod, ang bilis nung ano, parang okay na yan, sabihin na tayo magbalit, ganyan-ganyan. So, it was, it was a fun experience at the same time for me kasi may pagkamakulit nga ako and all that. So, ang dami kong na-meet, ang dami kong na-meet doon. So, kakulitan, kakwentuhan and all that. Ayan, chest x-ray. After chest x-ray, they asked me to go to the US counter at, at floor. I forgot yung floor. Basta, they, they asked me to go there para sa vital signs. Ayan, sa vital signs, wherein chinek din nila yung height ko, yung weight ko, and then, yung, yun nga, vital signs mo, yung temperature and all that, um, blood pressure, ganyan, ganyan. And then, alam ko, chinek din nila yun, nagkaroon din ako ng eye test. Ayan. So, after ng lahat ng yun, pinapunta naman ako, same floor, pinapunta naman ako sa isa sa mga room, dun na yung nagkaroon ng I don't know what, I forgot what they call it, but, uh, um, it's a physical test. Yeah, I think it's a physical test. Ano, wag kayong magugulat ng assist kasi, um, sa mga ka-K1 na assist or sa ka-bro kasi may mga bro din tayo dyan, um, maguhubad kayo, like, naked. Okay? First things is, first thing is, um, magkakaroon kayo ng interview. It's like a personal interview again. Kung dun sa immunization is, medyo light lang ng konti yung questions ng doctor. Pero dito sa last na to, last physical test na to is, mas, mas madidig yung doctor. Like, um, do you smoke? Do you drink? And all that. Um, lahat yun, may allergies ka ba? And then, um, oh, were you pregnant before? Or, uh, 
did you have any kinds of surgery before minor to ano you have to yan she, she's gonna dig oh yan she kasi babaeng sa akin so kung yun nga tayo pag lalaki is lalaki yung doctor mo then pag babae babae din yun so after noon pag nasatisfy na yung doctor kan ang dami lang yung tatanong so please again don't be sensitive kasi they really have to ask that for medical purposes and it's for your own good then anyways yan pero ito pa ang tip lang if if hindi ka naman regular drinker, hindi ka naman totally smoker, don't say yes, don't say no, and all that. I don't say yes, don't say yes. Kasi hindi naman, ano, um, baka naman maging negative pa yung info mo. Kasi, ang um, alam ko, uh, yung iba is, kahit minsan lang uminom or something, kasi gato-gato, na-mention lang na parang nalungkot lang siya one time kasi nga ganyan and all that um, imbis na makapasa siya healthy naman siya, imbis na makapasa siya the next day, pinapunta siya for uh, for, for psychology, counseling something ata, so mas na-delay yung paper niya so I suggest just you know, eh, kung hindi ka naman regular drinker or you don't really smoke like you've tried it once lang or twice lang don't say yes, I mean Sabi mo lang, hindi, hindi ka nag smoke Sabi mo lang, hindi ka na-inom. Kasi if you just did it once, like it was uh, previous years pa, so I would say yes. Yan, yun lang yung suggest ko. Kasi dami ko naririnig story about to na, ayun, na parang tumagal yung process nila kasi they have to, yun, attend ng, ng psychology something. Basta, yun, you have to be careful with that. Ayan, so after noon, after ng interview with the doctor, pagpupuntahin ka niya sa likod kasi uh, there's a curtain, so don't worry, pagpupunta rin ka niya, taka sa cur uh, may curtain doon sa likod niya. And then, pagpupunta rin ka niya, and then may lab gown din doon. Uh, isusot mo yun, you have to be, you have to like take off everything, even your underwear, so yun. After yun, tapos sabihin niya sa'yo to lie down, please lie down doon sa, please lie down doon sa bed, yun. And then, it was quick actually, mas matagal pa yung conversation. It was quick yung sa physical test. You just have to check yung sa mga babae, uh, chinek lang yung breast and all that. May, may kinapa lang siya sa chan. Yun, may mga kinapa siya sa chan. And then may kinapa siya dito. And then sa neck, yun, kinapa siya dito. And then, um, I, I was actually shocked ng sinabi niya na uh, i-bend yung Nico habang, habang nakahiga. And then, Yan, tinignan niya yung JJ natin. Titingnan niya. Pero it was quick. It was like what? 1 to 3 seconds. So, pak. That's it. May tinignan lang siya. I think sanay naman na siya sa syempre doctors. Sanay na sila sa ano, alam na nila yung symptoms, alam na nila yung itsura ng abnormal sa hindi. So, you don't have to be you don't have to worry about it, okay? It's all natural. It's all about for medical purposes lang. Ayan, and then after that, ang sabi sa akin ng doctor, balik ako sa US counter again, doon. Same ano lang. Ayan, I want to US counter again for checkout. And then, ayan, um, after that, chinek lang yung documents ko, na kompleto ko na lahat ng, ex, ng, ng test kasi, per test kasi, yun nga yung sinasabi kasi yung data sheet, yung patient data sheet, um, yun, yung paper na yun with your number and all that and your info. Um, kada test kasi doon is sinasign ng doctor. So, once it's completed, like, nagawa nyo na lahat ng test, pupuntay na kayo sa pinaka-checkout counter. And then, after that, doon sasabihin sa inyo kung kailan kayo babalik for the results, okay? Mine was, um, kunwari, ano, after, ano pa, kunwari, kunwari 15 ako, 15, ay, hindi, kunwari 16, 16, ay, ay, yun, 16 ako pumunta, 18 ako pinabalik. So, Sabi ko dapat 17, di ba, the next day. Kasi usually yun yung kwento ng iba. Pero hindi, may nangyayari na matagalan talaga. Yung sa akin, isa na doon is yung 18. Ayun, 18 yung pinabalik ako at around 1pm. So, bumiyahin na ako ng mga 11 kasi I'm 2 hours away. 2 hours away sa uh, SLEC. Ayun, 2 hour uh, biyahe and all that. Ayun. Um, after that, kabado ako nun kasi eh, ang sabi nila, you know kung saan ka pupunta or pasado ka or hindi, dun sa guard pa lang. So, sa guard, pag ang sabi is for pag sinabi niyang, uh, ano yan? Pag sinabi, pag second floor, yan, yeah, second floor ata yun. Oo, oh, ata, basta pag second floor for immunization ka na, ayun, ibig sabihin nun, pasado ka na sa medical exam. Pero pag iba yata is mabunta ko sa sputum or something. Ayun. Um, 
yung sa akin, second floor, immunization na. So, thank God, pasado and all that. It was nervous. Uh, yeah. It was, it was kind of sweating day for me. Kaya ang ginawa ko nun, literal, hindi naman ganun kainit nun. Pero, alam mo yung pawisan ka habang kaharap mo yung guard. Kasi, dun mo malalaman kung ano. Kinukulit ko na si Kuya. I was like praying sa bus pa lang na, oh my God. Ganyan, ganyan. Kasi, s like is so sensitive. Pagating sa chest x-ray, may makita lang ng something dun. You're gonna repeat it. Or kung hindi sila satisfied, you're gonna go under, uh, you, you gonna undergo with sputum test and all that. Eh, ayoko nang i ano yun. Alam mo yun, alam mong healthy ka, but somehow, dahil sa mga naririnig mo and all that, mag-worry ka eh. So, I suggest be healthy. Ayun, uh, pag bago kayo magpa-medical. And then, sabi ko nga ako kasi, since I'm two hours away, it's okay lang. Kasi na, ano, na-estimate ko yung time ko. Dun sa mga nakatira outside Manila, what they're doing is, nagre-rent sila ng place or ng room malapit din sa SLEC or mostly or yung common is nag-hotel. Maraming hotel po doon na na um, marirent nyo. Um, just siguro search lang kayo online. Maraming maramura naman daw doon. Ayun. Um, and again, uh, hindi mo siya maano na magre-rent ka ng 2 days and all that kasi hindi mo masasabi like ako 16 and then, expected ko 17, babalik ako pa rin. Di 18 ako pinabalik. So, yung iba ganun din. So, mas maganda na magdala kayo ng extra lagi. Be prepared. Be prepared po sa mga possible na mangyayari and all that. Pero yun, um, number one ko lang siguro na sasabihin or advice is be healthy pagpapunta na kayo dun. Ayun, um, as much as possible, iwas mo na sa inom and all that. So, kung may party or may gathering, saka na kayo mag-party pag tapos na ng medical. Kasi, you'll never know kung ano mangyayari. So, yun. Uh, I think that's it muna. Again, for the other infos na hindi ko na-mention, I'm gonna put everything po sa description box. So, please do check that out. And then, for comments, suggestions na you wanna know pa, uh, um, huwag po kayong mag-hesitate, huwag po kayong mahiya na mag-leave ng comment sa baba. And then, Ayun, um, check ko siya every now and then. And then, next video po natin is yung US Embassy experience ko. And then, at the same time, what to bring and what to expect na rin at the same time. So, yun lang muna for now. Thanks for watching. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe for more videos and updates about the K1 and AOS visa. Or, I mean, K1 visa and then adjustment of status uh, process. Yun, uh, if you want to be updated about that process na pinagdadaanan ko, um, sa ngayon, yun, uh, please subscribe and ayun, watch, uh, watch the videos from K1 to AOS. As, um, yun lang muna again, um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet for more updates about the K1 visa and the whole experience from AOS, I to AOS. Ayun lang muna and leave a comment for other questions and all that. Ayun, see you next time again. Thank you. Ciao babies.